man, you go crazy. Well, recently here in Chicago, um, and, and, and you know, in our trending news of things, McAdoo 600 was found dead in his jail cell. Um, McAdoo is um, somebody that we've had on DJ UTV, and that's also someone who had a relationship with your son, Scrap, at one point. He had a relationship with me too, you know, if he had a relationship with my son, he had one with me. Uh, I don't know, but when I heard about it, people was DMing me his pictures, uh, sending me pictures of him saying, you know, uh, calling me or whatever. But to me, you know, like I said, like, I don't know what people wanted me to say or expected me to say, or they thought I was going to speak bad about McAdoo, McAville, but no, I wasn't. I wasn't gonna say nothing bad about him, cause to be honest with you, uh, I love Michael and I love him like a son. And for me seeing and knowing what happened between him and my son, I know what happened. Michael stayed at my house. Michael slept at my crib. I took Michael to play ball with my sons. Michael was with me, under me, with my son Scrap. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, McAvey was just on this side, Scrap was over here, but they still used to be together every day, you know what I'm saying? And the streets, like I said, the streets divided them, you know, the streets divided them, so I don't have nothing bad to say about Mac uh his mama, I know his mama, uh, his auntie, uh, his people, you know what I'm saying, his father from the low end. So, uh, no, man, I couldn't say nothing bad about him. Uh, even though, you know, him and my son had what they had going on, but at the end of the day, I know they love one another. Before all that, that was his best friend, his brother, and they was all that, you know what I'm saying? So we don't know if, if they would have grew to make it to be our age, mm -hmm. what would have became of them. They still would have got back together, we don't know that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But no, I don't have nothing bad to say about them. Yeah, for Period. sure that. Uh, R.I.P. McAdoo for sure. Um, yeah. They said may, perhaps it was overdose on some jail drugs, but then I also saw videos saying that his family feel like the police probably killed him. What you think probably was the cause of death? What, what was some reports you were hearing? Well, I don't know, man, but I know they got some type of drug going around in that county jail. For sure. That's leaving them boys dead in there, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, uh, they they died, and uh, it was another incident with somebody else that we knew they found dead in the cell. So uh, there's some type of drug they using in there, man, that these young guys getting howled for, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, you do have dirty guards in there. They dirty, you know what I'm saying? They do treat them like shit, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I couldn't tell you, that's true. I don't know, man. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we talk, we, we, we talk a lot to uh, Butter about jail drugs, mm -hmm. you know? And, um, you know, Butter, he uh, he had a relationship with your, with your son as well, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you know, yeah. I asked Ruger how he felt about uh, Butter merching on Lil Brian all the time, you know, like every other word is, you know, on Lil Brian. I asked you the same since you were his father, how you feel about, you know, hearing somebody. I know, I watched that. I saw that when, uh, when my son, you know, when he said, and you know, but I'm going to keep it the same way, man. Like, if my son's guys, they be upset that he merging on them like that. You know what I'm saying? But I've been knowing brother since he was a kid. You know what I'm saying? I know his mama, his people, you know what I'm saying? So uh, he know Brian, him and Brian grew up together. You feel what I'm saying? Like they been the same area since they was kids. You know what I'm saying? Butter got two kids by my little cousin. You know what I'm saying? Butter be around, I can see if it's somebody that don't know my son, you know what I'm saying? But he do be merching it a lot, like, he always merch a lot. I watch Butter, he, everything come out of his mouth is on Brown, Lil Brown on, you know, everybody, you know what I'm saying? But uh, no, I don't have a problem with him uh, merching it like that. He don't merch it like that no more. He don't be doing too much merching on nobody. I be watching him, but uh, no, I don't have nothing. Mm -mm. He know my son. Mm -hmm.
So what was it about your son Scrap that 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 made him so special that we're still talking about him to today, 2023? Man, uh, my son, man, he was a uh, he was a good good guy, man, good kid. Uh, uh, he just was one of them people's man that young guys that was really into them streets, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, I hate to say that, I hate to say this, but, you know, he put a lot of work in, in the streets, you know what I'm saying? Uh, at a young age, you know what I'm saying? And uh, people might say, and they, you know, I'm, I'm gonna read comments, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I was with my son, man, I was with all of them. You know, but we can't hold their hand everywhere they go, every day, outside. I can't, you know what I'm saying? I can't be in his pocket, go everywhere he go. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I was a father to all my kids, but my son just had that, that, man, he was just street. He was just one of them, man, he was real, like, man, I hate to say, but, you know, he was in them streets, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, you know, I got to look on internet, YouTube, and see all these bloggers putting this, saying this about my son. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, he was just, man, his name gonna live on, man, because he putting in a lot of work. DJ, you go crazy!